Ladies and gentlemen, Mobile Media TV, we have VH1 for, for the Love of Ray J Season 2, Betty Keenan. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. This is another first. This is your first on-camera interview? Um, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. First it was cocktail, now fettuccine. So what's going on? Um, you know, I'm just chilling, just you know, working on myself, doing my thing. Um, right now I'm working on my singing, and it's really exciting being in the studio. How did you walk into Ray J's show? Um, I saw the casting, and um, I put a picture online for VH1 um, and they had called me and they told me to come so I did and I just followed through with the process and that was a very quick visit like what was going through your mind being in that house for being in the in, well really to um <laughs> Um, to love Ray. Now, did you build a connection with Ray J? Um, yes. I mean, I built a good connection with Ray J, actually. Did you ever see his famous DVD? Yes, I did. What did you think of it? Um, you know, that's his past, and that's something that he did in the past and I'm not going to judge him for it. It was cool, you know, something that he did and it is what it is. And now since Ray J, that chapter is closed, what are you doing now more in depth? Because I know you have a couple things going on. Yes. Um, like I said, I'm working on my singing but in the studio. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It's a passion of mine. It's a love of mine. Um, I've been doing it since I was very young. Uh, I started in my church choir. I've done a lot of contests. Um, as you know, I'm from Long Island, New York. And um, I did a lot of it out there. And that's really what I'm focusing on right now. And what kind of genre of music you're concentrating on? Um, pop, R&B, hip hop. And have you had any crazy encounters from fans yet? Um, yes. Um, I have a fan base that is currently still building. Um, I have fans and, you know, I show them all love. And they're great. And I noticed just in a short amount of time you done a lot of red carpets. Like, what does that feel like being on the red carpet? Um, it's exciting. Um, I definitely love it. Um, my first experience, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's, it's a lot of fun, and um, I lo I'm loving the people that I meet, so it's going well. How do fans can reach out to you? Um, Twitter, they can go to twitter.com, uh, VH1 Fettuccine. Um, they go to my MySpace, which is myspace.com slash hot Allison Seglio. Uh, so they can reach me that way. Who would you like to work with in your music career? What I like to work with. Yeah. Um, wow, there's so many artists that inspire me that um, I love. Um, well, first of all, in hip hop, um, I love 50 Cent. He's like one of the top um, rappers. I've always looked up to him, actually. He just really inspires me. I actually just watched his bio not too long ago, and I just love his consistency and his persistence and his hustle just to make it starting from nothing. And that really inspires me every day. He touches um, all. Yes, I do. I love him a lot. Um, and I love his music. Listen to his lyrics, it's pretty deep. Um, and he really, you know, really speaks his heart through those lyrics. Um, I love Alicia Keys. I think she has great talent. Um, she can play the piano. She's amazing. She's very musically inclined. And her voice, I mean, I can see her passion. Mariah Carey, she's great. I mean, starting from way back, she, there's nothing, I mean, she hasn't done that hasn't inspired me. She's just amazing all the way around. Um, her life story, her music, it's great. Trey Songs is great. 
um, he's really coming up. Um, so, yeah. Would you have done Flavor of Love for another reality show? Um, Flavor of Love, no, I wouldn't have done. Not your type? No. What about Rock of Love? No, it's not my type. I'm not into the whole rock star <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> so what is your type of guy? Um, you know, I don't have a specific type. Um, but the guys that I've been dating, um, have been black guys. Um, I guess they just have that little extra that attracts me. Um, <laughs> Thank you for the movie Jungle Fever, Spectre. <laughs> As you can tell, I mean, everybody knows about me. I mean, I've dated black guys um, in the past, and I continue to. Um, but I don't have a specific type. I mean, I date Italians, I'm Spanish, it's, you know, it doesn't matter to me. As long as there's some type of attraction and you have a connection, it's all good. Tell us something that the people don't know about you. Well, to go a little deeper, um, I'm a very trustworthy person. Um, I'm very passionate about my life, my family. I love my family. I'm passionate about my career and where it's going to take me to the next level. Um, I'm loyal. So I think those are the attributes that people really don't know about me as of yet, and they're going to get to know about me. So. Would you date another person in the industry or you finish with that phase? Uh, no, I would date another person in the industry. Love has no limits. No, it does not. It has no limits at all. What is it you want the fans to know about you that if people say anything misquoted, like what do you want to clear up? Um, well, I know that there's some, you know, like a label about me going around that I am a celebrity smasher. Um, Wrong one. The terminology celebrity smasher um, is really not the truth. Um, just because I've dated celebrities in the past doesn't mean that that's a horrible thing. Um, and I was just there because of a celebrity. These are people that I have met um, out and we just had a connection. Um, it has nothing to do with me being a gold digger or wanting money um, because I have money of my own. I come from a great family that has money and I'm used to that. Um, so I don't need somebody to give me anything. So it's just that we had a type of connection and we had an attraction to each other and we had the same interest. And it was just like somebody that I dated just like anybody else. Um, so. I wouldn't say that I'm just smashing them because they're celebrities. Um, and the girls on the show aren't going to tell me that they're just basically all there to find love. Because they're so, <laughs> I mean, they know he's Ray J. Let's be realistic. Everybody has their different Everybody motives. has their different agenda and their motives of being on the show, um, as we can see weekly by the girls getting eliminated, what's coming up. <laughs> so, I really feel that I was the most real on the show also. So, you know, I was just being me. And, um, you know, I have nothing to hide, so. And I believe this is not the last we'll hear of you. No, it won't be. Because a lot of girls get too complacent and then when they're eliminated, what's next? Right, right. Well. With me also too, um, I don't need to be on a VH1 show too, because I do have talent and I was going to do it regardless either way. So let's say the show ends, Ray J makes his choice and it don't work out and somehow you two wanted to connect and see what happens, would that, could you see that happening or? Um, yeah, I can definitely see that as a possibility. Ray's actually a great guy. So basically all that other stuff that's just media throwing that on home. And tell us where we can find you again. Um, you can find me at VH1.com. Um, I mean, I'm sorry. Yes, VH1.com, Twitter.com, VH1 uh, Fettuccine. 
and myspace.com. Um, hot Allison Saglio. I love you all.